Hello, happy holidays and welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison Kate and this green glam is inspired by my top, my pod manicure, and I'm obsessed with green this year. I can't wait to share this tutorial with you. Let's get started. I'm prepping my lips using the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in the scent Ginger Snap. To prep for makeup application, I'm using a Lifting and Firming Luminous Primer. I take this product all down my neck and decollete. I found this amazing brush set on Amazon and I'm going to link this in the description box below because these brushes are super affordable and they're incredible quality. I always prime my eyelids first because I like to take my complexion products onto my lids. You'll notice throughout this entire tutorial that I use my face products on my eyes. This creates a cohesive canvas all over my face. All right, let's zoom in and get to the good stuff. For my foundation, I'm going to be mixing the JCAT Masterclass palettes. I'm starting off with a light medium palette to perfect the skin while building up coverage in my problem areas. You'll notice that I'm sculpting out my spray tan along the jawline. I know this looks a little crazy right now, but trust the process. I love using cream foundation because the product can be applied with the fingertips for added coverage. Let's pin up the hair so that I can contour the perimeters of the face. Switching to the medium deep palette, I'm bronzing and contouring the bone structure. I love using cream foundations to bronze and contour the skin. This allows you to multitask and add coverage to the face while also sculpting at the same time. This means your end result will be less cakey because you don't have to layer on as many products. I think that this multitasking product is also amazing for blending and the end result is really beautiful. Moving on to the under eyes, I'm applying a little bit of concealer in the hollows of the under eye and the outer corner before buffing out with my foundation brush and setting with a loose powder and powder puff. If you haven't used a powder puff with loose powder to set your under eyes yet, you are missing out. The end result of this application technique is so flawless and it really helps prevent creasing. Next, I'm setting my cream contour with a bronzing powder, just lightly sweeping the product over the shape that I already created. Remember when I mentioned using face products on the eyes? 
I love using my bronzer in the crease of my eyes. This helps me to map out the shape of the lid and this creates both definition and color cohesion. I'm applying a warm tone blush to the high points of my cheeks. And reapplying lip balm. Again, I'm using my cheek color in the crease of the eye for color consistency. I want the same warmth that I'm creating on my face to translate to all of my skin. Before I add any eyeshadows, I like to define my eyebrows. This not only frames my face, but it helps me to map out how far I want to take out my eyeshadow and use the brow as a guide. I like a pretty bold brow. So I brush up my hairs and then I fill in the shape with a pomade. If you like a fluffy brow, I recommend this brow glue to really keep those hairs in place. The neutral eyeshadows that I'm going to be using in this tutorial are from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Taking a bright, shimmery color, I'm highlighting the brow bone. Next, I'm defining the crease with a warm brown shade. This is going to be used as a transition shade between the brow bone and the lid color. Then, I'm using a medium brown tone, deepening the outer corner of the crease. I recommend looking directly into the mirror, applying the shadow with the eyes open. This way you can see the shape that you're sculpting as you're creating it. Moving on to the green tones, I'm using shades from Tarte's new Gilded Glamour Holiday Eyeshadow Palette. I will be using the shades Steel and Rare to create a neutral green color. I'm taking a matte olive tone to map out the outer corner of the lid, ensuring to keep the green tones below the crease. I'm gradually adding in the shimmer shades with small movements. Tiny, precise movements while adding color is important to ensure the look doesn't become muddy or messy. I like to use my fingertips to build up the intensity because this allows you to add more pigment and more shimmer. Again, using small, tiny movements, I'm slowly flicking out the green tones on the outer corners. I'm using this movement to extend the lid shape towards the tail of the brow bone. Now, 
Next, I'm cleaning up the inner lid space by packing the neutral eyeshadows from the Jaclyn Hill palette onto the lid. This is going to create a blended look and mesh the green and the neutral tones together. Just a couple of final touches before using my powder puff to clean up the under eye space. I'm removing any fallout and sharpening the outer corners of the shadow. If you prefer a really dramatic wing, you could create this look using tape, makeup remover, or eyeliner. I prefer a softer, smokier, blended look. Now it's time to curl the lashes, apply mascara, and apply a great set of false lashes. For this makeup tutorial, I chose to leave the lower lash line blank. This creates a more wearable daytime look. However, I'm going to link below my Christmas glam tutorial from last year where I created a more sultry green eyeliner look that's also really pretty. Last but not least, I'm defining my lip line with my favorite nude liner. Topping it off with a glossy nude lip lacquer. This smells so good. I'm patting the lacquer in with my fingers to soften the lip line and blend the liner and lip color together. I hope you enjoyed this green glam holiday makeup tutorial. I had so much fun creating this video with you. Remember to check out the description box below for more leaks and information about this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Happy holidays.